You're trading paints. All on. right, folks. Um, I'll check in a second. All right, folks. Here we go. We got the micro. Micro. The micros. The wingless micros. There we go. Yeah, I forgot what they were, folks. My bad. Um, uh, as y'all can hear, man, y'all gonna try to bear with me tonight. Still under the weather. Trying to get. Trying to kick this thing, but we got qualifying, and we're going to look qualifying, and then we're going to go straight into our feature. That's been no heats and stuff. Got so far here, Corey. So far, we got 11 cars, and all 11 have put in a lap time for qualifying. And Brandon Templeton, top one. 
awesome. strong every week. Just waiting on the timer to clock down on us. And admins out there listening, they can advance over to the heat, to the, I almost said a heat race, but we're going <laughs> to do a race here. Yeah. If I go quiet, folks, man, it's probably because I'm coughing or something. Bear with me on that. Yeah, Joe's listen to, uh, back in the seat. And listen to uh, Corey's sexy voice. No. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, we got Joseph Grandy back out here tonight, making a comeback in the oh, racing okay. scene. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Kevin Fry out there doing the admining things around here. Oh, Fry. Well, real quick, while we're waiting on these guys here, um, next week we got a, a huge special event. Gonna be the uh, Super Dirt Modified Week charity event. Gonna we'll support Mission Twenty Two. Starts on April Twenty Third, Fourth, and Fifth. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna have the big blocks, about three fifty eight, and then the big blocks is what it's gonna be. So it's gonna start on Tuesday night, run Wednesday and Thursday. It's qualifying actually. The feature will run Thursday. So definitely check it out. C two CRL dot com. Is we're gonna set here to grid these guys up. Brandon Templeton, he's uh, been the man in these little micros. Yeah, he has. I mean, been putting it out front every week since the start of the season, just about. And I'd say he's the favorite for a championship here in the micros. Nice. Speaking of the championship, uh, let me see if I can't find the points here that's a winged we need the wing list uh, actually believe it or not Kevin Fry is a point leader currently but Templeton oh, okay. has three starts and three wins alright well we've had four races right yeah Templeton's missed one. Yeah. But that should be his drop week then, should. Yeah, that would be his one. It'd be at least one of the drop weeks. I'm so not sure the how many they it. get. Yeah, at the end, maybe it'd be, um. I don't know. Templeton keeps dominating it. No question. Here we go. Green, green, green flag. Green. 20 laps here for tonight. A little micro, uh, wingless. Getting in here, it'll uh, fill the near and change that track. Oh, Murano right there coming up second. He's side by side. Yeah, they are side by side right now for second place. Got Murano on the inside. Randy Shreves trying to make the outside lane work for him. It's kind of working there, but in the one out front, that's Brandon Templeton. He's just so strong in one of these little cars that. I'm not sure how you're going to beat him unless he just get up there and you rub a little tire with him or spook him into making a mistake. He almost made a mistake right there. Got a little sideways. Looking like the bottom may be a little bit more slicker than what he's used to every week, at least down here in turn three and four. Uh, I say that and he's pulling away a little bit. Remember a couple weeks ago, uh, we we talked about looked like they might have changed something, and uh, these cars look a little slicker with the uh, the wingless than what they were there in the past. Guys even talked about it. Ooh, that was a big save there. It was Kevin Fry going for a nice little slide around the racetrack. Is this me or are all of these cars still unpainted? Yeah, you um. Okay, I, I thought it was just my end, but. Uh, me, I was uh. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, a lot of black cars out there. Yeah, we got a lot of very unpainted cars. They all look the same, so 
We're trying to pick and choose which one is which. Pick the one that's painted. <laughs> yeah. My eyes kind of stuck back here in the back. It's not been able to get up to the front. Templeton's still leading. Got three wide right now. I don't know. Got Shrees, Murano, top, the uh, top three. Randy's there with them. Ellis. Got Barker right behind them. Big battles back here around about seven and eight, though. Yeah, Barker right there trying to hold off Kevin Fry. Kevin Fry trying to make his way back up through the field a little bit. Started P5, running in seventh, trying to go for six. Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's got it in six. Him and Fry. Uh oh. oh. Carmel, Salas. House. Ow. And no caution flag. All righty. Um, Heck yeah. Oh, man. I'll agree to that one. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Oh, and Anthony Marano around, and now we get the caution flag. Ah, uh, fiddlesticks. Go on Malcolm Mills <laughs> replay, see what happened. Andy Marano. I think him in the wall might have had a talking affair. They just lost it. Got to burn the cushion. And still going. Oh, we just looped it. Ah. Oh. So one car spins, we don't get the caution. Then another car spins, and we do get the caution. They look. I mean, <laughs> I racing and its consistency here. At its best. <laughs> sure, Murano would have. I'm sure Kevin Fry would have. Or whoever that was the first time around. Salas, Sal, Isaac Salas would have yeah. loved to have had that caution. Well, Fry's up to fifth now. Yeah. Well, what he needs to do. Still Brandon Templeton out at the front. Oh, yeah. Reeves, Grandy. See y'all out there, man. What's going on, Sammy? CD, JJ, how y'all doing? It's a good race. We go back green here with the micro wingless. And Templeton gets to start out front. Reeves and Grandy. It's all single file this time. Yeah, Templeton down low. Still Shreves up top. Just trying to make it work i mean it's got enough horsepower under the hood of one of these things to get the high side rolling it's just you gotta be so smooth if you mess up even a hair bit that momentum is all gone and you gotta rebuild it up but right now the momentum for shreves it's working here he might get by Templeton, he's side by side right now, coming on turn number four at the line. It gave the lead to Shreves. Wow. Yeah, you need to do that on the last lap. Yeah, he just has to do that on the white flag when coming to Jagger. Templeton's so right taking now, that low line, and Shreves got that high line. Yeah, right now it is the battle for the race lead Templeton versus Shreves, top side versus low side. Shreves with the momentum down the back straightaway gonna pull a little bit ahead in three and he's gonna pull it here at the line lap 18 boy it's getting racy right now this track is pretty racy yeah look at this they are dead even just about coming at the line here lap 19 we got two to go. gotta figure something out because he's getting that run off four yeah, Templeton, he might think about pulling a slide job or something here on Randy Shreves. We're going to see the white flag at the line. So far, the leader yeah. is being scored as Randy Shreves. Templeton, he has to figure something out for the last time. Down the back straightaway, Shreves is a little bit of the advantage right now. Oh. Templeton, last shot out of four, going to be Randy Shreves. Wow. Yeah, he just had that, that figured out up top. Yeah, he did. Good job by Randy Shreves there. Love it, love it. And Joseph Randy will him. pull in third.
Got to wait. Good race, though. Yeah, real good racing there. Woo! Like I said, go check out c2crl.com. We got a good, uh, got a good charity event coming up next week. I'll bring up old uh, Joseph Grandy. Let's get a word with him. Hey, Joseph, you get a copy on me. Hey, what's going on? Well, Jez, it's been a long time here, but coming out here, top three in the wingless micros, talk us through it. That was actually my first time in one of those. Um, racy little things. They were fun. Um, got some learning to do, but all in all, can't be happy with a third for my first time in them. Absolutely. Good job by you here tonight. Before I let you get you, anybody I can think. Yeah, I'd like to thank Catalytic Recovery, West End Towing and Repair, all the guys over at Inferno Motorsports. Um, coast to coast all them guys and appreciate you for doing the broadcast yeah folks third place jesus grandy yeah, it is there they came up good here tonight we'll bring up a uh we'll bring templeton up let's get hey brandon you get a copy on me hello and there you are brandon well brandon second place here you finally got tamed the bottom went away and top side came in talk us through what you could have done differently yeah i mean i i saw him coming you know and these things have mirrors in the virtual world so i saw him coming up top and i kind of thought you know to myself i should slide up i should slide up and waited a couple laps and i thought you know i'm just gonna have to ride it out down here and thought maybe i could beat him to the line but i think i messed up maybe coming to the white or something just a tiny bobble but he had the speed coming in the momentum and um that was just a hell of a race you know that was the first time this season that the bottom didn't hold out to the finish and um it was it was right there close but hats off to randy that was an awesome job by him he didn't make any mistakes and he hit his line perfect absolutely good job by you here tonight before i let you go you got anybody like to think I got to thank the Dirt Track Bank, Malvern Bank, and Malvern, Iowa. Um, check them out if you haven't. Uh, they do a lot to support dirt track racing and us in sim racing. So um, check them out. Got your six racing network, Hammer Down Racing Team, uh, Extreme Images, Maley's Makery, Big C's Lawn Care. Um, thanks to everyone doing the broadcast and everyone watching at home. Hey, I'm folks. Second place, Brandon Templeton. Yeah, it is, man. Right there. We'll bring this guy up here on Randy. Uh, uh, Randy, join the booth. Got a copy? Yeah, got you, Joe. Well, you was able to get up front, man, make that high lane work. Uh, when was you? Uh, when did you see that that high lane was going to come in like it did? Yeah, maybe uh, I don't know about eight to go or so. Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I couldn't run the bottom like Brandon at all. Every time I tried to go down there, I'd just get get loose, and I just figured, you know, I'd just keep running that high side, and uh, you know practicing for when it when it came in and it came in about eight to go and uh, i noticed i started uh gaining on brandon there uh i was waiting for him to throw a slider there at the end and block me but uh you know he kept it uh kept it real and uh raced me heads up and uh it was a hell of a race man oh no doubt man put it in victory lane you got anybody one thing for an awesome one uh yeah for sure definitely want to thank coast to coast for all they do um I want to thank my team, LGR Motorsports, ABR Setup Shop, Redline Design Company, One Wish Foundation, KSB Builders, uh, Finish Line Repair. I want to thank you guys for the broadcast, and now I want to thank everybody for watching. There you go, Randy Shrees. But in Victor Lane tonight, folks don't go anywhere. We got some more uh, micros coming up.
it's time for another edition of RS and Trackside, powered by Bob Johnson Auto Group on Rock Sports Network. Gets on the champion. I'm trying to be a bit of a hiatus, so let's get. Right when we talk about it. Um... Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our weekly race chat. Adam Ross and Clinton Jeffrey are live and interactive every Tuesday night. Rivals Race Chat is your home for race discussion, debate, news, interviews, and more. They'll even take your questions and comments live on the air and talk to some of the newsmakers each week. Tune in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on GeForce TV.
All right, folks, here we go. We got the wing micros here in qualifying. Kind of wrapping up here. Randy Shreves, I got the man up front. And he's been enjoying it so far. But uh, him and Templeton, man's owned these little micros. Yeah, they have. And, you know, Randy Shreves is the point leader here for the wing that they believe. Hold on, let me confirm. That. No, he's second place. Two points. Oh, okay. He's two points away from being the point leader. I got you. Okay. Well, here we go. Reason company up here. A good little race with the non wings earlier. Yeah, it was good running with the wingless and now we get to see the little winged ones here i got a big field of 17 cars nice uh 16 taking the grid though Dallas. yeah salas not gonna make the call nah, he's gonna go get a salad no <laughs> just because his name is salas does not mean in you getting a salad, <laughs> Thousand Island dressing and all. That was cucumbers a in there. That uh, was a terrible joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I can't help sick Joe. You don't like the salads, man? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. Dickens, Murano, Boyce, Parker, Fry. Reynolds, Bixler, and Landis, top team. Great flag. And look at the little hornets out here all buzzing around. Me, 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 me. Alrighty, seeing Brian Dickens down on the low side trying to make up some ground here early on. Brandon Templeton falling back a little bit back to the fourth position. He's like a little you who. Where? Where? Oh, uh, I see uh, Taylor, you. It's a little you who. <laughs> yeah. Is it one of them little you who cups or whatever yeah, they are? Little, little, little cans. Like one little bit, little bit cans. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's getting taken three wide here. He's got Roger Ooh. Craig. Oh, no, Craig. Craig hasn't paid for his yearly membership to Trading Paints Pro, so we can't really see Barry the fish. He's got Malcolm fish. Mills on it. Yeah, he's got Malcolm Mills on it, but... He don't have the Trading Paints Pro paid for quite yet. If oh, anybody's okay. looking to donate so we can get, see the fish again. A big battle right here around 5th. Yeah. Big good bit of cars right there. Three wide. Brandon Templeton trying to roll the bottom side of the racetrack. That's what he's been known to do. But out front, Randy Shreve's taking the lessons that he's learned in the wingless tonight yeah. and running the high side. He's got a pretty good gap back here to Brian Dickens. About almost drop, goes between about eight tenths to about a second every so often there. And there's somebody got a Barney car out here. That's a uh, Bixler. Is there a Barney car? Purple okay. and green. Okay. I, I love you, I, you love me. Well, he's gonna stick it in the ditch. Okay, that made zero sense. <laughs> Joe is having a mind. Joe is having a mind trip. He's sick, <laughs> so don't mind any weird jokes. God, that was a fun. Oh, we got our first caution now. Craig. <laughs> oh, is it Craig? It's Craig. Go to Michael Mills, see what happened. Hit the wall bit him. If not, that lemon car behind him bit him. Oh no, he just spun it. If he heard my joke. <laughs> Threw him off a little bit. Hey, you look on the back of, uh, uh, Randy Shreve's car at a certain angle that five six the top part of it looks like eyeballs Look no. at the back fishtail 
Yeah, look at it when it's like at an angle. You got to catch it just right to see what it's like right here where it's coming around and you catch it like right there kind of looks like eyeballs it's really really quick you got i am really out in the chat to catch what i'm it. seeing well cory ain't gonna see it cause i'm not sick like you are <laughs> yeah. green, green, green. What the heck? Didn't you hear me? Green flag. Trees out front. All right, Bigs are trying. Temple to mail. Oh, yellow flag. No, looks like a ding and rail is being involved. Yeah. What do I have to him? In the back. Oh, he just gets tagged and then just get run over and put in the wall. He got floppy wheel. He did a little cart. Uh, the the the. Uh, Cart flip? Is that is that a word? Oh, I saw that. Is that a you word? Did a barrel Cart roll. Flip? You did a barrel roll. I think that's a word. Is that a word, yeah? Cart flip? I right. sounds good to me. Uh, sounds legit. Sounds <laughs> legit. <laughs> legit word. Cart flipping. All right, it's all threes. Rye right behind him. What's points look like here? <laughs> Shreve came in two points behind Kevin Fry, so. Okay. All right. Well, he needs to win this thing, don't he? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's also on the side of these things. They look pretty. Yeah. I'll find me a model so I can build one. I like building motorcycle models. Well, though. Green, green, green. Don't you have a few videos on one? I do. That's Finishing crazy. up one right now, so. Green flag. Fry Dickens. Templeton. Taking me months to finish it up. I work on them slowly. Hey, you uh, see Shreve's and Fry up top. And back here, you got a battle going on around. Seven for Boyce and Barker Boyce and a completely new kind of paint. Don't have the dog Boyce, on it. Boyce, what's it? Pat Boyce. Actually, it looks pretty clean. I mean, that that's pretty good looking paint he's got on Black. tonight. Hyper. The, yeah, the hyper racing on it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. It kind of looks like copper a little bit. The yeah, little orange, yeah. like brought into like copper. Yeah, I see that. Nice. Yeah. Man, he's chasing the Barney car down. <laughs> he's about a oh my got up. Trying to run Barney over. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Hey, oh. we out here, man. The man out here trying to throw love on the track. And he's out here running him over. Then you got the lemon drop looking thing behind him. <laughs> hey, you have one of these cars. You're talking about a model, Jason? I'm actually wanting to build, like, you know, I know they have sprint models. I need to find me a sprint model so I can build. I build a lot of motorcycle models. I got 112 motorcycle model. Why don't I've you got, build a I need late to model? A, I need to put a pay, uh, picture of my um, glass thing with all my models in it. Like, I do die cast too. Oh, wait a minute. We got a wreck. Uh oh. Going to bring in a green on check in here. There it is. Lemon drop. What we got? Parker, he's involved. Do the slide job and then, ooh, he was losing it going in. And he oh. looped it right there in front of the copper machine and then Lemon Drop got involved and a uh -huh. couple more at the back. Done. Wow. Oh, you got an actual micro. But I don't want an actual micro. I couldn't fit in one of these things, dude. Man, I'm a fat guy. <laughs> really, my head be sticking up into the wing. They'd have to cut a hole in the wing, and I'd be up on top of it. Let alone with my legs. I, I don't even know how my legs would go in between the motor. Or it'd be laying on the motor. I will say this. Uh, this past weekend, I drove by Mill Briggs Speedway, 
and I actually saw it and took some pictures of it. That was kind of cool. I had never been, didn't even know that that track was that close to where I was at. Like 45 minutes. So, here we go. Green, Green light checkered. Yeah. Yeah. Woo -woo. Let's see if Randy Shreves can hold off this hungry field of drivers battle is for second place. It's frying. Dickens gonna see the white flag and now they can kill each other if they so desire to. Are you 6 4 there, uh, Jason? And coming out of turn number four, Randy Shreve's gonna pick up win number two of the night, followed by Kevin Fry oh, and Brian Dickens. Wow. Oh. Yeah. What a night. So far, a clean sweep and just gotta do two more times. Yeah, all right. Let's bring him up here and get a word with him. Randy's still here. We'll get we'll bring him up. Let's get a word with him. Hey, Randy, you get a copy on me once you get parked. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Well, win number two on the night here for you, and this comes in the winged micro talker suit. The rest of the night. I'm sorry, I heard uh, talking through the mic. I couldn't hear you. Oh, well, Randy, you pick up win number two on the night here, this time in the winged micro. <laughs> Just talk us through this race. Yeah, that was definitely a fun one, man. Uh, I knew Kevin was right there with me there at the end, and uh, I know he's fast always, and uh, I just knew once we got them cautions, uh, I just had to get a good restart. and. Uh, the second one wasn't as good as I wanted. I thought Kevin was going to catch me, but, uh, you know, I held him off, and, uh, yeah, it was an awesome race. Glad to pick up two so far tonight. Maybe I can get the third one in 305. Absolutely. Trying to go for that clean sleep before you, I let you go. You got anybody like to thank? Uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely want to thank Coast to Coast for putting on this league. Um, you guys for the broadcast. Um, I want to thank my team, LGR Motorsports. Uh, Redline Race Design, uh, KSB Builders, Finish Line Repair, um, and everybody for watching. And there you have it, folks, the race winner, Randy Shreves. Yeah, I'm bring up old Kevin Fry, let's get a word with him. Hey, Kevin, you got a copy on me? Yes, sir, loud and clear, buddy. Eighth to second place here in the winged micro is talk us through it. Oh, nice. I didn't even know where I started. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't realize I started far, that far back, but uh, yeah, it's cool driving through the field like that uh, around the top uh, was where it's supposed to be, I guess, tonight. Because usually I like around the bottom, um, but I guess the momentum and everything else of the um, outlaw wing cars um, was where it needed to be up top, I guess, because it felt good up top and felt fast and smooth. So, yep, I just stuck it up there and drove it to the front as fast as I could. Absolutely good strong finish tonight here for you. Before I let you go, you got anybody like to thank? Yeah, I want to thank uh, old Christopher Bell for letting me run his car tonight. I uh, didn't I didn't have my car ready for the, for tonight, so I uh, called him up and uh, asked him if I could run it, and he said, sure, come get it. So uh, that's here I am. So thank him for letting me run his car tonight. Uh, thank uh, for um, Dirty Sim South Racing, uh, Twisted Tech, Mars Off Inc., and uh, you guys for making us look good on the old interweb. Hey, I'm folks. Second place, Kevin Fry. Yeah, it is. I'm bringing man up here. Oh, oh. Uh, Brian, you're in the booth. You got a copy? Got you, buddy. Man, I tell you what, came on third tonight. How's you feeling in that wing machine? Yeah, that's the first time I've run them since uh, they've updated. So it seemed like the top had a little bit more than, uh, than it used to. Uh, I did about all I could on the bottom, stayed on the bottom, did, stayed dedicated to it, but uh, everything went pretty good. Absolutely, man. Looks strong, like you said, man. Got up there to third. You got anybody want to thank? Yeah, uh, Hammer Down Racing, um, Brandon, Kurt, Joe, uh, Dirt Track Bank, um, C2C, you guys for doing the broadcast, and uh, had a blast. There you go. It's O'Brien, man. Bring it up in third. Folks, don't go anywhere. We got some more... Uh, Sprint's coming. We'll be right back in a few.
Sports. It's time for another edition of RS and Trackside, powered by Bob Johnson Auto Group on Rock Sports Network. Kiss on the champion. I'm trying to be a bit of a hiatus, so let's get. Tonight we'll be talking about it. Um... Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our weekly race chat. Adam Ross and Clinton Jeffrey are live and interactive every Tuesday night. Rivals Race Chat is your home for race discussion, debate, news, interviews, and more. They'll even take your questions and comments live on the air and talk to some of the newsmakers each week. Tune in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on GeForce TV.
All right, here we go. Qualifying 305 wing sprints. That's what we got here tonight. <laughs> pretty good night so far, what do you think? Yeah, been pretty good here. Same winner for two races, Randy Shreves, but gonna have his work cut out here for the 305s. He's right now on the board in third with Gavin Chatham and Kevin Fry above him. Wrapping up qualifying here. Uh, one more driver out on the racetrack. Steven Bixler trying to put in a time on the board. Running the high side. Gonna clock in at a 13.949 for the mayor. I'll be everybody putting a time on the board if they so desired to put one up. 15 cars for the 305 division here tonight. Gavin Chatham, the quickest one of the bunch. I only wanted to hit the 13 4 mark. Second and third practically tied on the timing and scoring board that you're looking at. It's going to show a, about a 1 100 difference, maybe. But. It shows on I racing a 538 for both of them. That'd be Kevin Fry and Randy Shreves. Taking it to the fourth digit. And we're going to advance on over to racing here. I'll get these boys lined up. Got them geared up for 20 laps. Watch those wings get adjusted here to their liking. Further forward. The more speed you're going to have and the further back, the more grip you're going to have. You're going to run it as far forward as you possibly can go. Closer to the zero number. Gavin Chatham, Kevin Fry, Randy Shreves, John Hine. Kurt Schatzer, your points leader coming into tonight. That's your top five. Waiting on them all to grid up here, and we're gonna be rolling them off for pace lap. There we go, pace laps has commenced. Ah, uh, my Oh, uh, what we got? No, got like Gavin Chatham. Yeah, they're pacing right now, Joseph. All right. Hey, you got Gavin out front. Awesome. Ooh. Went over what kind of wing setting they'd want to have on the top wing if they want more speed or if they want more grit. Oh, uh, okay. See them go green here once they get to turn number four. Following the I racing pace car, pace truck. Nice, nice. And here we go. Green flag is out. Kevin Fry oh, with a good launch up top. Here comes Gavin Chad. I'm going to put the slider in. Oh my. Oh, uh, that ain't good. And no caution quite oh, yet. There it is. Gotta be a caution. 
Well, that was a very delayed caution. What did it, it, it start out? We'll go with Bob the Good here. Oh, he got. It started with Gavin. Yeah, Gavin. Good got. But he got turned around. Gavin. Adam there. Taylor. Fry lost his wing. Yeah. He got yeah. the worst end of it. Let's go and see what happened. It's what happened out front with him. Yeah, it all started with your front runners, your top ten. Yeah. What happened here? I got a good jump. Oh, the leader got up there and he just hit the back of him. Next thing you know, boom, it's a train wreck. Wow. So already not the way that Kevin Fry or Gavin Chatham wants to start their night off. And Gavin, got some... he's got a little bit more than the wing damage. I think the front, the right front is definitely skewed in. The left front may be skewed out. Oh no! The front wing has a lot of damage. Nerf bar has a lot of damage. It. I, I mean, understand track position here, but that damage, oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, it ain't gonna handle the best wow. of the best. You know, no, he's get dropping. Run yeah. He done. Probably should have came in. Oh, never mind, we're gonna have caution. Oh, we got a wreck coming to pit road here. Oh boy. I don't know how this occurred, but it occurred with Bob Curtis at the back. Actually, you know what? They weren't even coming to pit road. Go on a replay real quick on that. Wild. Go back here and see what happened. Curtis. Low on the bottom. Oh, I thought he was going to come to pit. I thought they were well, coming to pit road, hit. but he got he hit. Got yeah. Hit. Pushed him in pit road. Yeah. We're still going, though. Reeves up front. Cats are right behind him, Brayton. Well, Shreve's just going to win everything. Yeah, Shreve's out here just putting the domination so down Joseph, on the 305. Uh, Jason, I know you said there's guys my height to get in them. I guarantee you there ain't none my weight getting inside them cars. <clears throat> oh, yeah. we're going to go caution out on their shack again. And it looks oh, like God. Kevin Fry involved the John Rayner. Oh, man. Going to Malcolm Mills replay. Oh, Gary Taylor got popped a little bit. Fry goes on the inside and then, oh, he just product the wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, when Rainer hit the tire barrier with the right rear, it just shot him around and grabbed Kevin Fry. Now Gavin's gonna come in and get his quick fix. All right. He'll have a lot of work to do here. And I'll say a lot. There's 12 cars on. There's 11 cars on the track. All time. Get that new wing put on. There it is. It's all straightened out. Wings are very well needed to be straightened out on one of these cars to make them go vroom, 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 quicky, quick. 305 360s. These are 305s. Green, green, green. Green flag, Shree's out front, chats are behind him. John Hine, man, look at that. Seen him in a while. Yeah, yeah Hine go, go, going go. to the inside there, Kurt Schatzer. Schatzer, your points leader coming into the night. As we had a car on the wall at the back. It was Rainer, but all That'd good. That'd be me if I was on Good. Because Randy Shreve's still out at the front. He he he's Hine. taking it easy in turn forward. Oh, John Hine. 
Donovan Ross here. Look at him. Yeah, Donovan Ross trying to make his way up through the field. Right. Three wide, just about right there. John Hine, this is the battle for a top three occurring on your screen. It is four cars all duking and out. Top two battle as your race leader has pulled away a pretty significant amount already. And he is blanking, the leader is. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want to blank when you're racing out in the lead right now, but look at this. Donovan Ross rolling the bottom side. He's in second place right now. Here comes Trent Verstraten. He's I on the bottom on as third well. And fourth, man. Look at this. Yeah, look at the slider action. Just put them all nerf bar to nerf oh. bar. Here comes Gavin Chatham. Chats are almost, man, hooked that car on the bottom. Yeah, hang on, boys. We got a lap car in the way. That's going to be John Rayner running the bottom side and narrowly getting avoided from being hit. Still Donovan Ross rolling the bottom side of the racetrack right now in second place. Now he goes to the top side. Trevor Strayton down low. John Hine up top. Kevin Fry up top. Gavin in the mix here. Nice run with all these folks. Love it. Adam, Shatzer, Fry. They all right there just battling. That actually is his old field right here, all in, under a little blanket as Randy Street has been pulling away from everybody. Donovan Ross trying to put a little bit of a gap on him and Trent Verstraten, Verstraten trying to hold off the final podium position to John Hine. See Verstraten going to pull the slider to the line in three and four, going to have two to go at the line here. Yeah, John looking good. Yeah, John trying to make his way up to that podium spot. Gavin Chatham's still there in the mix. Shreves, though, he's, he's loving it. He's gone. Yeah, Shreves, he's looking for win number three of the night here. Mm. It's going to come in the 305s. Last time, but down the back straight in three and four. Mm, and Gavin ain't going to have enough. Nah, Randy Shreves wins. Donovan Ross second, and Trent Verstraten will hold off for a podium in the third. Very nice, very nice. And officially eight cars on the lead lap. These Ross were straight. I'll bring Trent up here. Let's get work. Yeah, I got your picture there. Congratulations again. Thanks for coming up. He's listening to the race control. Trent, you get a copy oh. on me. Yes, I do. Well, Trent, third place here in the 305 division. Talk us through this race. Yeah, so uh, that start was a little interesting. Uh, went from like 12th to I think 5th off that start. So like with that wreck, so kind of got a lot of luck there. And then uh, was just able to make some moves on the the bottom side there towards the end of the race and was able to hold on a third. Absolutely good start here for 89. Before I let you go, you got anybody like think? Yeah, Dean at a Super Dirt Car Series, uh, my team Venom Racing, uh, Roger and everyone behind the scenes at uh, C2C for putting the league on, and you guys for broadcasting every week. Yeah, and folks, third place, Trent versus Straten. Absolutely, man, doing what he needed to do tonight. Let's bring up old uh, Donovan Ross. Let's get a word with him. Hey, Donovan, you get a copy on me. Hey, go ahead. Well, second place here, the bottom side came in for you. Talk through it. Yeah, I just tiptoe around there. Just, uh, just getting slick up top, so I was hoping maybe Randy would get into the wall a little bit. I think I just needed him to make a maybe mistake and I could make a race out of it. But yeah, it's fun to get a podium. Absolutely good, strong night here for you. Before I let you go, you got anybody like to thank? Oh, I just thank the guys back in the Discord and uh, you guys for the uh, broadcast and the league for trugging along here and go to the 360 and into the trucks. Yeah, folks, second place is Donovan Ross. Yeah, so Don, man, looking good. We'll bring up old Randy up here and get a word with him. Randy, join the boots. Got a copy? Yeah, I got you, Joe. Man, been dominating tonight on these uh, dirts. Can you get one more? 
Uh, let's hope so. I mean, it's going to be real tough in that one, especially if uh, Patrick shows up. Um, we all know how hard he is to beat. But, uh, you know, I'm glad to get three in a row. I think it's my first time ever getting three in a row. And, uh, yeah, it feels awesome. Absolutely, man. Did did what you need to do. Got to beat your lane. Guy may want to thank. Uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely want to thank Coast Coast for putting on this awesome league, um, as always. Um I want to thank my team, LGR Motorsports, uh, Alex Bergeron over ABR Setup Shop, Colter West at Redline Design Company, One Wish Foundation, Wraps and Stitches, KSB Builders, Finish Line Repair. You know, you guys up there in the booth for broadcasting, you guys are awesome. And I want to thank everybody for watching. There you go, Randy Shrews. He's three for three, like you said, going for the fourth one. We'll be right back. We got 360s coming up. Don't go nowhere. It's time for another edition of RS and Trackside, powered by Bob Johnson Auto Group on Rock Sports Network. Kiss on the champion. I'm trying to be a bit of a hiatus, so let's get. Tonight we'll be talking about it. Um... Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our weekly race chat. Adam Ross and Clinton Jeffrey are live and interactive every Tuesday night. Rivals Race Chat is your home for race discussion, debate, news, interviews, and more. They'll even take your questions and comments live on the air and talk to some of the newsmakers each week. Tune in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on GeForce TV.
All right, here we go. Qualifying and close here with the 360s. These are the wing monsters out here. And Gavin uh, Chatham, Straighten, Bangler, Fry, Shreves. Top five right now. And Chatham going to try to go for some redemption here. After yeah. wrecking on lap number one of the 305. Shame, shame. Everybody knows your name. Mm -hmm. All right, good little field here. Good guy with Chatham right now. Up front. Brayton, Spangler, Rye. Breeze, top five. Well, Spangler has won three, and Chatham has won three races, or two races. He started three, and he's on two. Yeah. So trying to balance the board out here with three and three. But Randy Shreve's trying to go for the sweep here tonight. He's won three of four. This is the fourth, the fourth and the final. Can he pull it off? I think I would make him. I think I'd put him in the record book. Because we've never had three dirt races in a night. I mean, four dirt races in a night. We've only ever ran three. If he can pull it off, that'd be one of the first to do it. Right, Keep true, an eye true. on Randy Shreves. See if anybody can dethrone him. Green, green, Got the green. strong ones out here, the here we go. And already Spangler down low. Randy Shreve's gonna follow. Up to the third for Shreve's right now. Gonna come out of turn number four. We're gonna get to the scoring bit. line. And there we go. Officially in third. If he gets a caution, it would help him out a whole lot. Out for the lead, Spangler and Chatham. Yeah, Spangler down low, Chatham up top. And Spain, we're going to pull a slider on Gavin Chatham out of turn number two. Got a lot right, of power. I see the cross back done. out of Gavin here. Yes, you do. You got a whole lot of horsepower under the hood and a 360, a good balance no juice, between man. the. Yeah, definitely a balanced car here. It's got enough power, got enough downforce. It can power out of the corners. It can run about anywhere you want to put it at it especially on this kind of a racetrack right now you see Spangler up on the outside scraping that right rear tire along the wall you don't really want to get too high in this time or yeah Shreve's down low I'm just not sure that bottom side is there right now as Roger Craig is going to be the first victim to lap down to Spangler uh him and the fish yeah, hey, oh, well, it looks like he has his custom oh, number Spangler, paint Spangler, uploaded. Spangler got in the wall a little bit. No, and Craig tried to get the pit road about stopped there in front of Randy Shreve. Slowed him up a whole lot. Now Shreve's is up or on the top side. Maybe he's going to find something here. He's going to go right back down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Just not sure if that's the best place to go at this point current point in time oh, trying to run man. the middle Gary Taylor down on the bottom he's trying to make it to pit road as well and he makes it there safely Connor and Ross on the move yeah Connor Ross trying to make something happen here here comes it Trent for straight 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 uh, fly jobs yeah for straight and started second back here in the battle for fifth and six. There's Jeffrey Barker on the inside of them. Three wide. Oh boy. Hmm. And now we're seeing Chatham, Fry, and Shreves. They're all running the bottom side of the racetrack. See Fry rolling it down in three and four. Spangler, man, got a big lead. Yeah, Spangler, he's been riding the top side all 
race long, second, third, and fourth, going through the bottom side. Now, Fry back to the top side of the racetrack. Maybe he thought there was something back down there. Ross and him, man. Yeah, battles about everywhere here. Yeah, a little bit of a slider there out of John Hine on Trevor Strait and had to get out oh, of the throttle yeah. and cut back underneath. Here's Gary Offit in the mix too. He's got the GoPro machine in there. I wonder Take if he has pictures. a GoPro. Take a bit. He's taking we a video. Go on top of the wing like you're on a GoPro. Look. Well, let's do it. Go on the wing with Offit. Like he's got a GoPro. Yeah. There we go. Oh, slow man on the bottom. I mean, I'll get you speed here. Oh, he just going. got hit. But, Yellow flag. Oh, we were on the GoPro. That ain't good. What happened? I hit him in the rear. I'm gonna watch the replay here. Michael Mills. See the black rifle man. Oh no, uh, the green machine got down and then the black rifle got. Give him a cup of coffee. Crash. That's probably what Spangler didn't want to see. Okay, four laps to go. Not bad. Woo -woo. Uh, go. Go out front. Bye, what do you think? Nah, I don't think he can pull it off. Hey, let's have a good start. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a good launch being single file. We're gonna. Give him the big advantage here, though. Randy Shreve's not looking good for a clean sweep of the night. Here we go, green flag in the air. And Spangler does get a good launch. Shreve's trying to get to the inside of both Kevin Fry and Gavin Chatham. They were all fighting for the same part of the racetrack down there. Here comes Connor Ross. Ross is up on the high side. <laughs> Gets in the back of Randy Shreve. Seen that coming? Oh, oh. Gavin into Fryin! Oh, oh. Big mess. Caution? Uh, no, there's a caution out. Yeah. Freeze just know where to go. They were battling in front of him. From there. Bam. Well, you had Connor Ross get in the back of Shreves, and then Gavin got in the back of Kevin Fry going in turn one, and had a little kerfuffle break out down in turn number one. Yeah, if they wouldn't have came up the track, might have had that cleared. Oh, wow. Uh. Well, there goes the four factor. Yeah. White checker. Yeah, you're going to have a green white checkered here of one of two. So, Connor Ross, he's able to stay out here. Jeffrey Barker, Gavin Chatham, he's staying out even though his car is a mangled mess. It looks like it's turning to the right. Who's that? Gavin. Green, yeah, green, his green, car green. ain't in the best of shape here. Just gonna try to roll it out for the green-white checkered. Here we go. Here comes Jeffrey Barker. Roll, run over. <laughs> hey, yeah, he is getting run over. Here comes Jeffrey Barker. Barker up the second place. Going to see the white flag. They can kill each other from here on out if they That's so right. desire. Oh, we're going to see Patrick Spangler the last time down the back straightaway into three and four. As long as he doesn't hit the wall here, he'll pick up the win, and he does. Nice. Jeffrey Barker second, and Connor Ross holds off the other Donovan Ross for third. All right, what a win, what a way. The word in with some of these guys. 
We can use Patrick up here and let's get to work. Hey, Patrick, you get a copy on me. Yep, gotcha. Well, race winner here in the 360 division. Talk us it. Uh, I didn't want to start third because usually uh, the top two guys will get the uh, second or fourth. will get a runoff uh, two there. Uh, I surprised the bottom worked and I was able to slide up in front of Gavin and then just sit on cruise control there and try to keep it straight and out of the wall. Absolutely good run here for you tonight. Before I let you go, you got anybody like think? Uh, yeah, just you and Joe for the awesome broadcast each week. Uh, Rod for in the league, uh, Train Wolf Racing, uh, Dude X Amazon for the uh, wrap. Uh, this AccuForce uh, just steering wheel here, just for being able to feel that cushion there and just hit it consistently lap after lap. And uh, down on back on Washington. And folks, race winner, Patrick Spangler. It is. My old Connor Ross up here. Let's get a word with him. Hey, Connor, you get a copy on me? Yes, sir. Well, a little bit of chaos there towards the end of this race puts you up in a podium spot in third talk. I see it. I definitely needed that caution. I think I was faster than those guys wasn't i think they were running the bottom so it would have helped me being up top but uh no racing stuff happens there and luckily i was able to i was hoping to get second but i didn't realize the bottom still had that much juice left in and jeff jeff drove by me like i was standing still well, either way good strong night here for you before i let you go you got anybody like think yeah i gotta thank everyone at gambler motorsports uh, Burger Barn, Petro Plus, Ace One Construction, Kingpin Farms, Pesky Penguin. You guys for putting on the broadcast and the uh, league for running strongly. You know, if it wasn't for Bill Calder, the league wouldn't be this strong. And hope Bill's doing all right and uh, hope he's on the mend here soon. And folks, third place, Connor Ross. There you go, man. Hold up, uh, up here, uh, Parker. Yeah, for joy, the booze got copy. Hey Joe, what's up, buddy? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, he was able to uh, pull this thing off up in second, man. Well, how you was, how was you feeling? Uh, good. You know, I was just kind of here to chill out in the back, and then they said that we could shout out to Bill Calder if we got on the uh, if we got on the radio here. So I drove really hard, so I actually hi to Bill. There you go, man. <laughs> Look, looks strong, man. Uh, all night long, you got up to third. Game by one thing. Uh, get coast to coast racing league, Malcolm Mills mill writing, and. You guys for broadcasting OSRN. So it's good to see you guys again. All right, well, there you go, man. Third place man, or second place man, our Jeffrey Barger. Well, folks, stay tuned here. We'll be right back. <laughs> 